If you've been on YouTube for a while and you enjoy food, you probably at some point have stumbled across Bon Appetit's YouTube channel. At the beginning of each year, they put out this feel-good food plan. And normally with these recipes, they usually come out with videos, but this year they didn't do that. So I thought it would be really fun if I actually took it upon myself to recreate these recipes and share them with you guys. Out of the eight recipes they put out on the feel-good food plan, I chose to recreate four of them and I'll put them right here. I really hope that you enjoy this video because I love food, you guys love food, I mean everybody loves food. I really want to inspire more people to cook and yeah, I think we should just get right to it. Okay, first we're gonna start with the chicken and citrus salad with chili oil. So I have my chicken right here and first we just have to season it with salt. I'm really excited for this recipe because I've literally never had a salad that has citrus in it so it's gonna be interesting then we're just gonna let it cook for a few minutes until it gets nice and golden and then turn it on the other side turn the chicken around now the chicken has nice color on it so we have to put it in the oven for around 10 to 15 minutes While that's in the oven, we're going to make our chili oil. Put one third of a cup of olive oil in here. Garlic that we just cut earlier. And we just wanna get the garlic nice and brown. You don't wanna start burning it, obviously. So we're gonna have to be nice and gentle with it. While the garlic is getting nice and golden, we're gonna make the little chili oil part of it. So we're gonna do, oh, it doesn't go in two teaspoons of paprika, just regular paprika, in a little bowl right here. Half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Coriander, if you want it to come out. That our garlic is nice and brown. It's smelling good, so we're gonna take it off the heat. We're gonna come over here and we're gonna add it to our paprika mixture and everything else. Just like that, mix it all together and create our chili oil. Yeah, and blood oranges are one of those fruits that I feel like just seem fancy. Like, you know, it's like blood orange. You get like blood orange juice, or you get blood orange gelato or something like that. It's just like, seems like a fancy fruit. Like, oh, I made this salad with blood orange, you know? It just sounds like some fancy shit. So this is some fancy shit is basically what I'm trying to say. I've also never had this. This is like some fancy salad, you know? Oranges in the salad, so we're gonna do that. Half, about half of this, so I would say that's about half, right? It's more than half. It's more than half, it's fine. It's actually really pretty. Very fancy for sure. And then there's the oranges in there. I'm gonna just take a few of the leaves and then we're gonna put a, some of the chicken on here. And then we finish it off with some of the oil. You know, nice and a little drizzled. And I believe that that's it. Good. You want to try it? Mm-hmm. Mm. It's good, right? It's kind of weird, but it's good. Like, why am I eating chicken with an orange? Well, I rate it a 7.5 out of 10. It's pretty hard to eat. It's not like a salad. Maybe if I like torn. Yo, it's so good. Flavor really good. It's a little hard to eat. I would say, I'm gonna say an eight though. It's actually fire, it tastes so good. Definitely a nice eight out of 10. I just wish that it was easier to eat. Eight and a half. He's literally like munching on it right now so hard. But yeah, let's go on to the next recipe. All right, y'all, welcome back. Today's a different day than the recipe that you just saw probably, but we are going on to the next recipe, which is gonna be a shrimp Thai curry situation. I'm excited because normally when I make any type of Thai curry or even just a regular curry, I just use like the pre-made curry paste or the jarred sauce but in this recipe we're gonna be making our own which is a next level effort i just spent the last like 30 minutes chopping everything because this video is probably gonna be kind of long and i don't want to show you guys me chopping every single ingredient every time so i just kind of 
chop it up. Oh, I'm just gonna position you next to me and we can start cooking the next recipe. Okay, let's go. So first we're gonna start out with making the actual Thai, you know, curry sauce paste. Gonna put in all of the pepper and then the ginger and garlic. Someone commented and said that, you like garlic? Cause you use garlic in literally everything. And I do, I absolutely love garlic. I feel like I wouldn't cook anything without garlic. You can see we have all the ingredients in here. Okay, I think that was good. Wow, it smells really good. The paste, the curry paste, really beautiful color. Really aromatic, 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 aromatic. It's very, wow. So yes, I'll just, <laughs> very aromatic, okay. Let's get cooking some cabbage into quarters and we're just gonna put it in the pan and cook it on both sides. Also, I wanna start cooking more like shrimp and salmon. I also love eating like plant-based proteins, like a lot of beans, a lot of tofu, stuff like that. But I want to get more into seafood. Cause it's so good, I just like forget to eat it. And then also I feel like I don't really know how to make it. So I've been, I don't know if you know, but Chef's Table is a really dope docu-series. I love it. I've watched literally all the episodes. They have around, I think, seven seasons. First of all, like the cinematography and the way that it's put together, it's like nothing I've ever seen. Go to where those people are. There's a lot in Japan, all over like the Americas, in Asia, and like they're literally all over the place. I highly recommend you watch that series. It's honestly like breathtaking. Made me like want to, start cooking more and I was kind of like can I go to culinary school and like become a chef can I do that but obviously like it's not easy and the competition is like insane so I don't know I just was a kind of entertaining that idea a little bit all right so now we got to cook down the paste so I'm just gonna add it to the pot My beautiful coconut milk. I love coconut milk, it's so good. Oh, actually, probably shouldn't shake it right, but okay, we're just gonna open it. There we go. So I just added the shrimp to the pot, and then now all of the shrimp is just gonna cook into the sauce. So we're just gonna add the cabbage in here. Then we're going to add some scallions. We also have some lime zest which smells fire. Honestly, like lime is my favorite. Weird, I wanna say my favorite fruit, but it's not really that it is a fruit, but I don't eat it like a fruit. It's just like lime is like such a beautiful flavor. But wow, this looks so good. Holy shit. I'm just gonna taste the sauce by itself first. Whoa. Oh my God, what? Wait, it tastes so different than the jarred curry that I usually get. Oh my god, this right here, 10 out of 10. Oh my god, I'm actually like being so serious. This is insane. Mm. Oh my god, this is the best curry, hands down. I mean, hands up, hands down. Why do we say hands down? I feel like when we're talking like, oh, like hands down the best, I would be like, hands up. Like that's, I would be like, hands up, this is the best. I'm serious, this is insanely good. Holy guacamole. Okay, so I put it on the floor so you guys can see it in better lighting, but this is what it looks like. And honestly, amazing. The recipe that we're gonna be making next is gonna be the pasta with mushroom and cashew cream. This is gonna be the only vegan recipe that I'll be making out of all of them. I'm actually just making this one because I've always wanted to try making a cashew like cheesy sauce. I have some a pan with some olive oil and I'm just going to start cooking my mushrooms, okay? that cook down and then I have my boiling pot of water um, with some salt obviously remember to salt your water before you put your pasta in my 
spaghetti. So now we're going to make the cashew cream. I have my roasted cashews right here, nice and roasty toasty. Then we have nutritional yeast, some pasta water. It's about a cup of cashews. Oh, wow, it's very thick. So I'm going to probably add more water. It's like a cashew hummus. It looks like hummus and it's very um, moist. But it's definitely too thick to be like a, a nice runny pasta sauce. So I'm gonna add more of that water. I'm just gonna pour it right on top. I'm keeping my expectations kind of low just so I don't get super disappointed. I expected it to be like luscious and I'm getting more of a um, slimy vibe. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Will I make it again? Probably not. I don't love the consistency of the sauce. It's too dry. As well as it's kind of bland. It's so, it's like a faded flavor. This is like a sick five out of 10, not my favorite. Another recipe coming up now. We will be doing the tamarind chicken thighs with collard green salad. I'm really excited for this one because I've actually never had tamarind. It's this tamarind concentrate, like, and it's made out of these pods right here. Here we have the serrano, chili, garlic, ginger. So I'm gonna put them all in the bowl here. Spices here, we have some cinnamon and some nutmeg. Put that right in. Kind of like molasses vibes. One, see it's like black and very sticky. All right, so we're gonna do three tablespoons of coconut aminos, half a cup of orange juice. So I have my orange right here. I don't have a juicer or anything. I really wanted to make these recipes because like, yes, these recipes are a little bit more fancy and they take a longer time. The recipes are quite healthy and wholesome while still like keeping really delicious flavor. And that's kind of like what, what I'm all about. Open it and see how it smells. Oh my God, it smells pretty spicy. We want it to become kind of like a glaze. So I'm just gonna put it in a small pot and cook it down until it becomes a little bit thicker. And then we're gonna work with the sweet potatoes and the chicken. potato and I'm gonna put them in the oven for about six minutes all right then we're gonna come over here and we have our glaze that we blended I'm gonna add it to a small pan I'm gonna try to just cook this down until it gets a little bit thicker so it's an actual glaze right now it's still pretty watery just pour the glaze right on top here get crisp like this hopefully and then turn it on the other side let it cook and get nice and brown and crispy and then we're gonna put it on top of the potatoes and then put it back in the oven and that's where it's gonna finish cooking and then it's gonna get all saucy with the potatoes and I'm excited I layered them and it's okay if they overlap and I'm using this container because the pan I'm using right now is not oven proof. Um, but I believe that all of the flavor and everything is nicely incorporated in there. Put them all on here. And I'm just gonna put the this in the fridge. Oh wait. <laughs> I'm gonna put this in the oven. And then it should be there probably for like another 10 minutes or so. Collard greens with some of the remainder of the orange juice that we had from earlier, which I'm gonna actually. <sighs> mm, so good. And then, yeah, so it's the remainder of the orange juice in here, olive oil, nice pinch of salt, toss it all together. Mmm, it's pretty good. It's all right. He's nodding his head like. All right, so I took out the chicken and unfortunately I didn't really check on it. I took it out and it became black. 
Here's my chicken. And I'm gonna have a little bit of the skin just because I'm curious if it's like edible and it just looks black or if it's actually just like burnt. And I'm using a giant knife, I know. Mmm. Oh my god. Mm. Okay, chicken is fire. The chicken is actually really nicely cooked. It was in there way longer than 10 minutes. It was in there for almost 20 minutes. Mmm. I would say this whole recipe overall, I give it nine. Bye. All right, so that basically sums up all the four recipes that I tried from Bon Appetit's Feel Good Food Plan. They also have another four recipes. I just didn't want to make all of them because then this video was gonna end up being 30 minutes long. To finish off, I want to just re-rank all of the recipes from my favorite to my least favorite. If you do any recipe from this, do the curry, honestly. It, it was um, pretty life-changing, I must say. And I really hope that you enjoyed it. Honestly, I just wanted to make this video because I was gonna make these recipes anyway, and then I kind of wanted to share with you my love for Bon Appetit. Um, anytime I want to create or cook anything remotely interesting or fun, I just go on their website and I search up like everything. And no, this video was not sponsored by Bon Appetit. All of these opinions are my own. But anyone from Bon Appetit watches this video, probably not ever gonna happen but anyways a girl can dream yeah that's it that's a wrap up you should you know what you should do right now right now you should think about what you're gonna have for dinner are you gonna take time to cook for yourself are you gonna have fun cooking for yourself honestly cooking is so fun it's so worth it you guys should get into cooking so yeah see you guys later